I'm just gonna sit in the Elden Ring menu screen for the rest of the stream. The ultimate boss. I'm 29, I understand feeling old. You're not though. I looked it up and now I have to complain about this bullshit. Howard was born in 1958 and Betty in 1959, making them 33 and 32 at the beginning of the series. Only As for the Rugrats reboot, it seems parents have kept their relative ages, their birth yay. Birth yay? Are you speaking pig Latin? Their birth years have just shifted forward to reflect the modern era of the newest episodes. Why did they fuck with the parents' ages in the reboot? Wait. So they're still... 30 but their kids are what or are they older whoa what why is there like a texture glitch on here people who say 30s is old are just showing how brainwashed pop media has made them i don't know if it's brainwashing i feel like it's just a normal thing of the the like the younger generation to view Anything over like a certain age is being ancient because I remember being that young and thinking like even people that were in high school were fucking seniors Like senior citizens Oh god, that just made me sound so old That's like the oldest thing you could say is just talking about the younger generation and saying like when I was your age So yeah, we killed this guy and now this girl is eating him I'm just gonna leave her be. She's having her grilled dinner. I think half of the chat is 30 plus and are just self-defecating. I think so too. I think most of you guys are older than me. At least in spirit. I still keep in touch with my inner child. Probably had a Nokia 3310. I think my mom had one of those. And she had like a case on it with fairies on it. What gets me is when kids say you're pushing 22 to each other, they've lost the plot. Oh god, yeah. Well, I mean, to be fair, to like someone who's like a teen, people in their 20s do seem old as and they, they are, like, just in uh, comparison. Just from the perspective of, like, a teenager. And, like, on the flip side, I was walking around the other day. And, like, school was let out. Kids were walking home from school. And it was, like, high school kids. But I, I saw all of them and I was just like, what the f***? These are high schoolers? They, they look like infants. They look like larvae. They look, yeah, like walking fetuses. And I remember being in high school and thinking like, Oh man, I'm so grown up. I'm so in control of my life. I know what I'm doing. Can't wait to be set free. Can't wait to start my fucking life. Get out of here. That's how you know you're really old. <laughs> but like when you're, when you're a kid and you see high schoolers, they look so old. And like 30 year olds by comparison, might as well be dead. So I, I can understand both sides of it. So... I've beaten... I've beaten the snake guy. What do I do now? Do I go into his little dungeon? How do I get to that? Is there like a grace that I should go to? Back in my day... Has she gone to the sewers? No, I have not. I have heard murmurings about the sewers for quite some time. You need to unlock the map? Yeah, maybe I should just do that. Could I go here and, uh... Okay, hypothetically speaking, if I wanted to unlock the map right here... What grace should I teleport to so that I may walk there? Go from the manor? This one? Out the front door? Shut the front door! I decay my BFF Jill. I, I don't think I'm that old. I feel like I'm like... Okay, I'm the type of old person that has like a, a youthful pep in my step. 
Like, I... I seem like I have the light of youth in my eyes. I seem enriched. Your IDK my BFF Jill years old? Okay, come on. That one... I feel like there's young people who know that one. That commercial aired for a long time. My thanks. <gasps> the apparition who asked me to slay the, the serpent. He has thanked me. Wait, so is everyone gonna think I'm really cool now? So... You killed Rykard. <laughs> yeah. I harbor you no ill will. The strong take. Such is our code. In the weak, she Even fear he the was strong. prepared to meet a wretched end when he first took blasphemy unto his very flesh. But any road, the volcano manor is no more. Though we may yet I can still an jump on the trampoline and stuff without hurting myself. Yeah, that is a good threshold. Kind and took what was theirs. I've and never used Napster in, in my life. The time has come to rise against the Erd Tree. Against the Erd Tree? Okay, fine. You and Ethel are both in your prime right now in your 30s. No one in Vegas could guess your ages. You are free from the shackles of poverty yeah, and own most of the right. means of production. Yeah. May we all be so lucky. Yes, we are basically gods and we must be worshipped. We are going to, uh... The Start true test program. of how old someone is is to sing at them. I have a structured settlement and, and I, need, I need, cash need cash now and see how they respond. It's JG Wentworth 877 Cash Now. Oh, what the fuck just happened to me? It felt like something. Oh, God, my brain. Oh, it's. Yeah, anyway, I'm, uh, me and Ethel are starting a program where if you guys want to reclaim your youthful spirit as we do. Just follow our simple steps. And you too can break free from the shackles of life. You'll be able to be among the gods. Is this where I go, Mount Gelmir? Hey, 7 7 cash now! Yes, just use the, the baby boy. It, it's stem cells. Stem cells. That's more of an over 18 thing, I think. My little brother is 20 and he grew up hearing that commercial all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some things are just timeless. Some things transcend generation. Oh, okay, so I just loop around here? Hither to thither? Remember the wobble bubble? Oh... Wait... Was that that thing that was like toxic? It, it was made of toxic material? This is what I mean when I say I feel like I have dementia. Maybe I just need to drink a second coffee. Ah, um, me thinks more bean juice is needed to function. Oh god, what the... Oh, oh. oh it's the map! I must slay this handsy monster. Hands on! Oh god. I hate fighting these. They're freaky and disturbing. And I don't know how to dodge their attacks. Okay. What is wrong with not getting killed in one hit from... Fighting Ricardo the Serpent. What is wrong with that? I think that's just... I don't know... Being prepared? Having a good build? Going in guns blazing, underleveled... Is just... It's uh... It's foolishness. Many people mistakenly think like... Oh, I need to be underprepared. I need to be underleveled so I can be a, a based Chad and destroy the the bosses with very very little strength. But the true strength lies in the wisdom of knowing that it's okay to overlevel a lot until your HP bar is really 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 big and cool. That it rivals even the boss's HP bar. 
The true strength lies in the hours of leveling required to do this. The hours of preparation. Meditation. Real gamers don't level? See, that's like saying a real man doesn't, uh... Open up the door for someone. Or a real man doesn't pull the chair out for someone at a, a restaurant because it... It seems frilly and kind of feminine to do that. Because like helping others is like inherently kind of gay. You're only playing the game when you're... ...are at level 1 and using your fists naked? But why? By the Give way, did you know there's an hardship. entire level with other bosses and shit in the volcano manor behind a false wall? Yeah, everyone was telling me about that, the, the fucking dungeon. I almost got there last stream, but I had to stop playing. Should I go back there or should I go to the... Oh, wait. Bro, we have the entire map now. We have it. We've unlocked it. Real men let women open the door for them because they don't want to touch a nasty d Real men let women open the door for them because they don't want to touch a nasty door. Take it a step further? Don't even go through doors as a man. As a man, why are you going through a door? Is it because you seek the comfort of the womb? You imagine the door frame as a uh, invaginated structure that beckons to you because it reminds you of, I don't know, the comforts of being an infant? The motherly comforts? Wanting to be comfortable is possibly the gayest thing you could do as a man. If you have bed sheets, nah, it's over. You need to embrace austerity. You need to sleep on the floor. No, not even on the floor. You need to get rocks from like the gardening section of Home Depot. Lay them out on your bedroom floor and sleep on those. And if you get cold, layer yourself with more rocks. Yeah, what? If you have bed sheets and like, what the fuck is this? Ulcerated tree spirit? Ugh. This looks like one of those videos where it's like we found this fucked up dog on the street and <laughs> we... <laughs> like the sad music playing but then like the dog gets better and it's, it's happy in the end. We found a stray dog on the street covered in maggots. And we panicked around it and started slashing the head of a great sword. And then it was all better. Ow! Wait, bro, I, I didn't know there was gonna be a fucking boss fight! I was, uh, talking about, uh... Masculinity. What was I saying? Yeah, if you need beds or, like, bed sheets as a man, what are you doing with that? Bedding other men? What the fuck is this thing? I'm scared. Wait, I'm not two-handing my freaking sword. How do I, uh, turn it again? I haven't played in two weeks, I forgot. Uh, there we go. Okay. I remember how to use this button. Too. What the? Did his HP bar disappear for a second? Am I crazy? I can 
barely even see what's going on. I, I need my glasses. What the fuck is that? Dog restored. You take that thing to the to the vet, take it to the groomer, get it all fixed up, get an oil change, it comes out looking like a brand new dog. Comes out looking like a a beautiful, luscious, This poor dog has been suffering doodle. from scarlet rot and now looks like in pink ass. But an for one dollar, 29 cents a day, you can blah 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 blah. <laughs> Wait, why are you blah blah blahing that? Do you, do you hate animals? Why is there like a floating piece of wood over here? In the arms of an angel. Is that... Is that supposed to be there? Is that like a load-bearing piece of wood? Every hour in Africa, a minute passes. <laughs> Every day in Africa, the sun goes down, then comes up again. What can you do to help? Every day in Africa, the sun goes down at around 7 p.m. and it gets dark for a really long time and some people are scared of the dark. Do you think being scared of the dark is like the most like universal like primal human fear? Even like cavemen were scared of the dark, right? That's why they made fire. Do you think they were just like freaking out until they finally discovered flame and they're like, oh my god, oh fuck. And just like breathe the biggest sigh of relief possible. I don't even care about like eating rotten food, like uncooked meat. Diarrhea isn't as scary as what lurks in the unknown. If I was a caveman, I'd go insane. It might be kind of nice though. Some might find a bit of bliss in such an existence. Cavemen, they don't have the, the content brain. Or maybe they had some kind of form of it. Maybe humans just naturally just, uh... Naturally are just like little spoiled princess babies. That just want dopamine forever. And instantly. Do you think cavemen gambled? Like with like rocks? Do you think they like they drew like really fast cave paintings like over and over and over? Plato's allegory of the goon cave. There's just like a bunch of people making shadow puppets. <laughs> And the cavemen are just like, oh, fuck yeah, oh. <laughs> me, Grug, Grug have rock rot. Grug, Grug need mental health break in cave. Grug, Grug feeling overwhelmed right now. Me think Grug need to go see rock therapist. Grug, I don't know, Grug just feeling kind of burnt out on killing mammoths every day. Maybe Grug try killing Sabertooth Taiga instead? Grug have imposter syndrome. Is Grug really good caveman? Did Grug really invent the wheel or did Grug, did Grug trick people into thinking that he invented the wheel? I got stuck on a fucking tree. What do I do? What do I actually do in this situation? Well, how do I... Do... Do other cave... Do other cavemen really like Grug invention? Or are they just being nice? Oh, fuck. That was like AAA service getting me all unstuck. I don't know how I managed that. This whole area seems kind of funky. Not gonna lie. Is this like the weird unfinished area like in Dark Souls with all the dinosaur buds in the lava area? That boss fight was glitchy as heck. Hmm. 
know it's intended or it's a feature. Whoa! In this area, the laws of physics do not apply. They love putting tree spirits all over the place here. Wait, are they like regular enemies now instead of bosses? Oh no, I hate these Iron Maiden things. <sighs> Did you know the song Iron Man by Black Sabbath was originally going to be called Iron Bloke? Because Ozzy Osbourne was just like... Oh, it, it so sounds... It sounds pretty nice. It sounds like an, a big iron bloke just plotting around. Sounds like a big iron bloke. Ozzy is a weird guy. Did he really eat a bat? Oh, fuck me. Ooh. Wait, there's soft spot is in the back, isn't it? I'm... You know what? I'm... I'm fucking done. I just don't fucking care anymore. Fuck you. You were uninvited from my sweet 16. Um... Um... Oh, hell no. That nasty. Damn, that's nasty. Nature is scary. All of the animation being tossed out. Like a little pizza pie spun around in the finger of a, a large, rotund Italian man. And thrown into a pizza oven. Pie. You know how you get the Tetris effect? It's like... You play a video game too much, you start seeing... The video game in real life when you close your eyes too. And you feel like you're still playing it. Just the after images of it. I have that, but with Photoshop. Cause I... I've never learned how to use Photoshop in my life. They still needed my help with making a, a graphic or something, and I've been that's what I've been working on in the past like three days while I wait wait for my ears to stop exploding. I've just been sitting in front of my computer, barely blinking, figuring out how to use Photoshop, watching like a million tutorials. And I went out on my balcony last night and looked at the sunset and I was like, wow, that that's a really nice gradient map. <laughs> God damn. It looks like it looks like the opacity is set to multiply on that shit. It looks nice. And I was like listening to a song. I was listening to like a song that had like the vocals had a bunch of reverb and I was like, wow, it sounds like the these vocals have like a Gaussian blur on them. It sounds nice, makes it extra creamy, really phase it into the mix. The distortion on these drums sounds like they, just, they put a, a threshold layer on top of everything and the layer mash. It sounds like you were high as fuck. The worst part is I was completely sober, just like tizzed out. Photoshop tizzed. That's another proof that I'm not old, because you can't teach an old dog new tricks. I learned how to use a program that I've never touched in my life, really. I never thought I'd be able to learn it. It just seems so esoteric. It's like some weird, like, Macintosh program. I don't know why I just did that. See their bodies laying there lifelessly. Blood smeared on the ground. They had no idea what was going to happen. Now they lay there lifelessly. What bosses have you killed? Um... Pretty much every boss except for like the last few, I think, right? There's a... the boss in the sewer is still have to kill, right?
There are actually a lot of algorithmic similarities between blurring in graphics and reverb. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're, you're a music guy, so you would know. See, I'm not crazy. Like, in process, it's like kind of the same thing. When you add reverb to like an audio waveform, you're like, you're technically blurring it. And when you add delay, it's like you're putting like another layer below. It's interesting. I was making, uh, actually like the art for a song that Ethel made. He enlisted my help with this and... I, I was so like... I don't know. I was like, why do you want me to do it? I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. But he was like, no, bro, just send it. I trust you. I, I didn't want to run him down. So I just locked the fuck in, learned Photoshop, and I just like spent the last three days working on that shit. It started making me like hallucinate. Oh, oh. Cause I was like listening to the song over and over while working on it because I wanted the, the art to like feel like the song. I don't want to sound like one of those people that's like, I, you see, I, I, I just hear songs as colors, you know? I, does anyone else do this like feel a color when you hear a song? And I don't know, sometimes like when I, depending on my mood, my eyes change colors. I, I'm a hazel eye person, so when I get mad, my eyes get kind of like brown. The song, like, it sounded like a certain color to me. And then I was, like, hearing the reverb, and I was like, this reverb sounds like it's, like, a... Like, blurred out, like, wispy kind of... kind of shit. I believe everyone with synesthesia is lying. I think it's just one of those things... that, like, everyone does to a certain extent. And the people that think they like have synesthesia, they just think about what they just think about it too much. They just like hyper focus on it and make it into more of a thing. It is real, but probably over reported. Yeah, probably. Kind of like that thing where you can't like visualize stuff in your head. A lot of people. I think a lot of people think they have that, but they just like misunderstand. I don't have a voice in my head. What? Are there really people who don't have like an internal monologue? Perception is messed up to think about. I think about that too much. Like, you actually perceive the world differently than everyone else. Nobody perceives the world in the same way. Like, we all inherently perceive it in a different way. Because all of our brains are different. Our, our eyes are different. Can anyone rotate a highly detailed apple 360 degrees in their mind? <laughs> I don't think very many people can. <laughs> I think like some people misunderstand like the mind's eye as like you literally see it. Like you can like project it. Instead of just like thinking about it. I don't know how to explain it. Like, when you think, when you imagine an image, you're not, like, literally seeing it. You're... You're thinking about it. You can, though? Wait, you can make, like, a hologram in your, your fucking field of view? I think... I can imagine something... It depends on the amount of detail. Like, I can imagine, like, a dog rotating in my head. I do that all the time. It's like a dog slowly rotating in, like, a standing position. I can imagine it smiling or frowning. What the fuck is this place? I've been here. I've somehow ended up here. How did we get here?
Is it like a textured dog or just a dog blob? I can imagine the texture on it. I can imagine that like having like a rough texture, a smooth texture, chromed out texture, or like a see-through glass dog. That one is nice. I like the see-through glass dog. It's like reflecting the light really nicely. Like a prism. You haven't gone to that swamp castle? Swamp castle? Where? This one? I feel like I have, haven't I? Chromed out dog was my nickname in high school. <laughs> All my nicknames in high school were just embarrassing. Green swamp on the map. Wait, this thing? Oh yeah, you're right. What the fuck is over here? Have I been there? Time to get your ass beat. Oh no, I'm gonna have flashbacks to my childhood. What were my nicknames? I can't really say a lot of them without doxing myself. The main one was like... Just my last name, but... Uh... Something that sounds similar to it... Was like a poop word. Poop, there it is! Ah! Mine was Big Gucci? How are you guys getting all these pool nicknames? Even if the nickname is, like, kind of making fun of you, it is kind of nice to get a nickname, though. It means, like, someone's, like, thinking about you enough to... I don't know, give you a nice little label. Mine was Lulu. It has nothing to do with my actual name. Like, Lulu from Final Fantasy. Mine was Microphone because I had big curly hair. Oh... I'm so sorry. I think I did explore the church back there. Like, it was already on my map from before. Oh yeah, this big swamp. What the hell is over here? There's a bunch of men over here. Mine was B-Boy. The B stood for the word shit. Like, in a different language. Oh! Water. Mine was fudgy, but because I was chubby, oh. I mean, that's like a nice nickname at least, fudgy butt. Did you have like skid marks or something? The word for shit is baj in Swedish. Oh. Shaded fashion. Everyone's throwing shade over here. Bitches, they're talking shit about me. Mine was Dirty Sanchez. That sounds cool. It's like a, like a cowboy name. Oh, yes, I found the brace. I know a kid who was albino who was called Snowballs. <laughs> That's pretty good. My... I had an English teacher that I had for a while. He was also my journalism teacher. He was a pretty old, chill dude. He would always just call me by the initial of my... My last name. And he was the type of teacher that would just like sit on a desk... And do like a teachable moment. He would always, like, sit on the desk of some kid who was, like, sitting in the front. With his, like, khaki teacher pants. Just, like, perched on the desk. Man-spreading. With his, like, balls in the kid's face. Aside from that, he was chill. Yeah, he would pull up a chair backwards and, uh, sit <laughs> completely spread out. <laughs> hmm. 
Mine was horse girl. Wow, why were you called that? Dirty Santos is something different than a cowboy's name? Oh, were cowboys historically not... Uh, were they more... Uh, uh, Aside from the balls out display, my Tito is pretty cool. Guys, how the fuck do I get out of this? Oh. Oh. There's a ladder. I had all sorts of nicknames since I'm ginger. I'm so fucking sorry. As someone who has made ginger jokes in the past, I apologize deeply for my ignorance. Like it would have like whiskey in it. Whoa. Okay, um I didn't know the swamp dwellers would have powerful magic. I guess I misunderestimated them. Oh yeah, the South Park episode about Jester. <laughs> a badge of honor. Like, you're so iconic that South Park made an entire episode dedicated to you. Now I'm covered in mold spores. I'm deathly afraid of slowly dying from a toxic mold infestation. It could happen to you. It's a very slow killer. It sneaks up on me. It did? Wait, are you dead? <gasps> this place is just perverse. They have everything here. Everything disgusting and distressing. Maggoty zombies. Powerful... Sorcerers, snow dwellers, and no waifus. So what gives? Fuck! Get off of me! No! I don't know you. I'm mold maxing right now. Have you seen that kid? That like over time started growing a huge mold colony on some table in like a park somewhere. And it got like really really bad. Mold hates the color pink, so they're gonna go way harder on your brain. Once you get infected, it'll probably only be like five to ten days until you're dead. At least it'll be quick. Who knows? Maybe it's already happened. And that's why I feel so sleepy today. Pretty soon the fungus is gonna take over. It's gonna start using me as a mouthpiece, as like a puppet. I'll be a reanimated corpse. Oh my god! I hate those things, they're so unnecessary. What about pink mold? Maybe I could start my own mold colony. The bad, the bad mold. Is there a good mold? Like mold where if you inhale it and eat it, it actually like feels good and makes you feel better? Wait, what ladder? The one back here? Penicillin? Oh my god, you're right, that is what penicillin is. And doesn't penicillin come in like a pink, pink juice? Ah! It's the pink stuff that your, your parents make you drink when you have an ear infection when you're little. Stuff, the stink stuff. 
but pink mold is good. Pink mold good. Yeah, it's like lean. Okay, I'm gonna jump on the few. Uh, I meant the one below. Ladder in the back of the swamp? Oh, okay. Here I go. Wait, I can't use my mount to traverse the swamp water. Smelly as hell. Moxism is also very common now in the bubblegum flavor slaps. Bro, I kind of want to get an infection just so I can drink that stuff again. Can you have that as an adult or is it just for kids? I'm a big kid now. I think LSD was also some brain mold thing. Wait, really? What if all the people who trip on LSD and have like a ego death moment are just having their brains hijacked by toxic mold? Fungus from Rye? Oh nice, I need more smithing stones. For my smithers. Don't mess around with antibiotics if you don't need them. Well, I'm saying I will need them because I'll... I'm going to infection max. What is the fastest way to get, like, trench foot? All you have to do is just, like, put your foot in a really wet boot, right? Does... does a trench have to be involved? Does mud have to be involved? A music festival. Yeah, I'll just go to Firefest. How you create a super bacteria? Oh, that sounds awful. <laughs> Tell me more. Yes, it's all coming together. Soak your shoes and go for a hike. Why does that sound like an insult? <laughs> go home and be a family man. I think I need to go. Over by that, that tree over here, right? Over, over here? There's stuff I haven't picked up. Oh, I got a bit of that, the skin of my foot was fluffing off. It's like those, uh, there's like Korean skincare remedies you can put on your feet. It's like a little bag. You marinate your feet in them. Oh my god, of course it's fucking... Earthless. Just my fucking luck. Oh my god, I'm this close to just fucking losing it. Oh, okay, wait. Fine. Wait, these things, they, they can't like kill you instantly like uh, in other games, right? If the bar fills up. What even is that? I don't think I've seen that. Oh god, oh god, oh god! Ah! Ah. I guess that answer rhyme answers my question. Eh? Who? Whoa! Whoa! Oh god, where was I? I think I had a ton of runes too. Oh yeah, this ladder over here. Okay, this way to my runes. Which way, Western man? <laughs> The real type of gamer is the kind of gamer that says ouch and ow when they get hit in the game. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. It means your mind and the game are as one. Oh god. The basilisks, they're gonna... they're gonna respawn, aren't they? I'll go grab my stuff. Great. Yeah! Yeah, the basilisks! Okay, let's go back. What is that strange? Oh! Oh! They can't get me over here. I'm safe. I have immunity. 
Now where is that confounded ladder? Over... over yonder! Me when I'm getting on the elevator and someone's about to get on, but I don't want to be in the elevator alone with someone, so I... I, uh, slice them down with my great sword and I get in the elevator and close the door really fast. For is a slightly different ladder that takes me in a similar direction. Oh my god. Have you killed Radon yet? Yes. What have I killed, chat? In the game. I've killed... I killed Ricardo the Serpent. I killed... The Margot guy. I killed the iron, the fire giant. Joel the Skullfucker. I think that's a DLC boss that hasn't come out yet. In the new expansion. Wait. Is this the guy from One Man One Jar? I just picked glass shards out of his ass. Are you old yet? This is what the fuck? Who is this? Ah! They have gold magic. Is this a soldier of millennia? Our minions have come out. They're called Queen Trot. Clean trot knights? Clean trot? Why do I feel like one of these statues is alive? Oh, I don't like this. Clean rot. Sounds like a really specific aesthetic. Only move when you don't look. What if there was a weeping angel that had the like the circle game gesture? Oh god! Ugh. No, please don't kill me. I'm not ready yet. I made it so far. I'm not gonna remember how to get back here, and I'm gonna get really frustrated. ...and start crying. Is that... ...content warning game actually good? Or am I being gaslit? I was just talking with April last night about that, like... ...it just seems like a lethal company... ...again. It's really fun. Is it... is it more fun than lethal company? Oh, hey, Lama Todd. How now, brown cow? It's fine. Yeah, is it like Lethal Company where it's like fun for a few hours and it's just like, all right. <laughs> like, one of those like $5 Steam games that everyone's like, bro, 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 you gotta download, yo, we gotta play, bro, bro, get the bro. And everyone plays it for like two weeks and then uh, forgets about it. Pretty much. I mean, I, I'm open to playing it. If people are down. Maybe it's like a sign of me having brain rot? Or just like, I don't know, having ADHD or whatever. But I just cannot... When it comes to games like, like Helldivers, Lethal Company, all those kinds of games, they're fun. For like, I don't know, I can play like a few rounds and be like, alright, that was fun. And be chill with like never playing them again. They're just like... I don't know, they're like fun to like play and hang out with friends while playing for a little bit. But ultimately... The like gameplay loop is just not that fun for me. Yeah, I just don't want to do like the... 
the same thing over and over and over and over. And I like doing that, like doing the same thing over and over and over in some contexts, but it has to be like perfectly attuned to my stupid brain. People inevitably start the fun out of those games by optimizing them. Yeah, that's another thing. People like it, it turns into like a whole meta thing. And the whole fun of those games is like goofing around and being silly. Not being like, all right, here, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna form up an objective, and someone's gonna go mid, and you're gonna do a light, and you're gonna, uh, we're gonna stake out the objective, and then we're gonna, uh, midnight, uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I feel like the social aspect of it is like, is the main draw. But you can have the social aspect with like, Tons of other games, too. Why did you kill that at the 20 second mark? It was supposed to be done at 30 seconds. <laughs> now we're going to get the bad ending! Oh my god. Execution. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Bro, I spent like an hour downloading Lethal Company mods to play it with, uh... I think it was Snuffy and Emmy... Emmy Room? A little while ago? And I never touched it again. <laughs> it's... This is a uh, stoner gamer versus a uh, straight edge gamer. I just wanna- I just wanna toke up and get blazed. I just wanna toke up and get high. This game- this game's kind of dumb. I guess that is like a universal experience though. There's always like a game that your friend group is like, Bro, bro, get on this thing. We gotta play it. And you buy it and install it. And then <laughs> everyone gets bored of it after like a week. It happens with Minecraft all the time. There's like the Minecraft cycle. And for me, the space of time between like Minecraft cycles gets longer and longer. The